G'day, I'm Mike Hayes, back with another action-packed guitar program. And I can assure you, there'll be one or two light bulb moments in today's session, if you're really paying attention. So make sure you're taking notes, because we'll be asking questions later on. Now, if you've been following along the series, you're probably wondering why I'm presenting these major six diminished scales in an apparent random order. One minute we're presenting the key of D, next minute we're over to five sharps with the key of B. Well, the concept today that we'll be talking about involves keys that are a minor third apart. So the first thing we'll be doing on this video will be studying the E flat major six diminished scale. So that's the new one for today. But we'll also be combining it with the C major sixth diminished scale, which is a scale that we learned earlier on in the series. So the key of C and E flat, the distance between C and E flat, there's our minor third. Now, I don't want to spill the beans because I want you to check all this out. When it starts out, this video won't seem to have anything much to do with two five ones. But that's the secret. I can't really tell you anything more. So you'll just have to watch the video. So make sure you don't nod off. If you're feeling a bit drowsy, go and have a nap before you check this out. You'll enjoy the concept. It's so simple. It's hiding in plain sight right under our nose. But like everything else, somebody has to point it out to you. Okay, let's jump in and get cracking with the work for today's session on the 251's The Top Secret One. Let's get started by playing the E flat major 6 diminished scale. We'll begin by playing an E flat major chord, then playing the scale, and then finishing with an E flat chord. Here goes. If you've been following through the series, you'll know that one of the remarkable features of the major 6 diminished scale is that it produces only two chords, a major 6 chord and a diminished chord built on the 7th degree of the scale. The two chords that are produced from the E flat major 6 diminished scale are E flat 6 and D diminished 7. Our next step will be to play the various inversions of E flat 6 on the first four strings of the guitar. Here goes. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to play all the different inversions of the D diminished seventh chord on the first four strings. Now it's time to play the whole scale combining the E flat 6th with the D diminished 7th chord. <laughs> And now, of course, the next step is that we can add in borrowed notes. 
If you're not sure what this means, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of this video and you can check out our video on borrowed notes. OK, in these diagrams, the blue notes are the borrowed notes and the chords themselves are marked in red. Let's have a listen. OK, this is the part where we really have to remain alert because I'm going to ask you a question after we've finished playing this exercise. We're going to begin by playing the C major 6 diminished scale, so a bit of review here. And then immediately after we play the chords in C, we're going to modulate into the key of E flat. So these will be the chords that we've just played, the E flat major 6 alternating with D diminished 7. Now the trick is to pay particular attention to all the chords as you're playing them through. And we're looking to see if we notice anything special about the chord sequence. Here we go. Did you notice anything? Well, you were probably busy playing all the new chord shapes. But the thing I want to draw your attention to is that the diminished chord that connects the C6 chords is also the exact same diminished chord that connects the E flat 6 chords. The notes in a B diminished chord are B, D, F, a flat. The notes in a D diminished chord are D, F, A flat, B. Now you might be thinking, what is the use of this fascinating little piece of information? Well, the beaut thing about this diminished chord that is common to both the key of C and the key of A flat, it means that we can borrow notes from either the key of C or E flat. So I'll begin with some examples in the key of C. And of course we know that the B diminished chord in this instance is functioning as a G7 flat 9. Let's have a listen to the diminished chord moving to C6. So we're in the key of C and we're moving from a G7 flat 9 to a C6. <laughs> So that was the straight 5 to 1 chord progression. Let's have a listen to the same idea again, only this time we'll use borrowed notes from the key of C. So we'll be using the diminished chord, but the notes that we're adding in, the borrowed notes, are from the key of C. So there's nothing new here at this stage. This is the idea that we've been doing in previous videos. Again, the borrowed notes are marked in blue and the diminished chord is marked in red. Here we go. So key of C, same idea, 5 to 1, only some extra movement using borrowed notes from the key of C. <laughs> Okay, here's another example. Same idea, only some of the borrowed notes this time will come from the key of E flat. See if you can spot them. <laughs> As 
as you can hear, this opens up a whole range of new colours. And the concept of being able to use borrowed notes from two different keys, the key of C and the key of E flat, gives us a whole lot of new sounds and options, particularly on the V chord. And now the moment we've been waiting for, we're going to apply this idea to a 2-5-1 progression. In fact, we're going to use a 2-5-1-6 chord progression in the key of C. So on the screen at the moment, you'll see the basic set of chords on the first line. And then on the second and third line, you'll see some variations and chord substitutions that we're using to make the chord progression sound a little bit more interesting. And if you're not sure of where these chords are coming from, these substitute chords, you might want to check out some of our earlier videos, and I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of this video so you can check them out. Time to try out some of our new chords. Here goes. Okay, so that's an example in the key of C, but I want you to keep in mind that it works also for the key of E flat. In other words, you can borrow notes from the key of C to add flavor to chords in the key of E flat. So here's two examples in the key of E flat where I'm borrowing some notes from the key of C. <laughs> Here's one more example in E flat, just a simple 2 5 1. Notice how I'm borrowing a B natural from the key of C. Well, that's it for this session, folks. I do hope that's given you something new to think about and something that you can use in your music. Don't forget, if you like the type of things that we're doing here, to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. That way you'll know when our latest video is available. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to pop them in the comment section below this video. And as always, I look forward to catching up with you again next time. Bye for now.